Hi, my name is Tommy Hodgins. You may know me as the guy who responds to every single Element Query related tweet on Twitter. One of the things I see people keep asking on Twitter, though, is what is happening with Element Queries? Or why don't we have, you know, like what's going on with container queries? Uh, we've had JavaScript plugins to help us, but it hasn't shown up in CSS yet. What's happening? So today I'm going to show you some of the work that's been going on by doing a performance test of an Element Query plugin from 2015 in this tab against JS and CSS running an Element Query plugin that was written in 2018. When we compare the difference, you'll be able to see what's been happening during that time. So in this tab, we have EQCSS, which supports a wide number of different uh, Element Query conditions. These are all things that aren't supported natively in CSS, and so we have to use a JavaScript plugin in order to do this. So I'm looking to test the min characters. So this would be a style applies when a certain number of text content characters are inside of an element. So this seems like it's set to 35, so I'm gonna add a few until it triggers it. So now in the Chrome DevTools, I'm gonna to go to the Performance tab, and I'm gonna for, for both of these demos, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit record. I'm going to add one character to trigger the style recalculation. I'll stop recording. We'll measure how long it took for the function to run that. And then we'll do it over here the same way, same test, uh, and compare the speeds. So here we go. The first one for EQCSS. So this is a plugin that was originally built at the end of 2014, released in 2015. Uh, it's been supported and maintained since then. Um, but it didn't benefit from a lot of what we learned by building it and using it. So it's a little bit slower and it has a lot more features baked in than you actually need. So here we go. So here we've captured the moment that the styles recalculated. I'm going to zoom in on this and if we look at this it says 12.6 milliseconds for that EQCSS function call uh, to run all of the stuff inside. Uh, recalculate the style, and then the actual style change happens later in the browser uh, right here when the paint happens. So 12.16 milliseconds is faster than our magic number of 16.6 forever. So if you have a thousand milliseconds per second and you want 60 frames per second for smooth looking, um, not choppy in your browser, you have a maximum of 16 milliseconds for each frame. So right now it's well within that boundary at 12.6 milliseconds, but you can see it's close. So on a more complicated page or with more complicated styles being recalculated, you could see how that would easily go over the 16.6 milliseconds. So now over here to our JS and CSS test. I'm going to open the dev tools, go to the performance tab, and we'll run the same test. So that's the instant that the styles have changed. And when I zoom in on this, already you can see that we're working at a totally different time scale here. So this is the entire key press event. It looks like our function call is 0.6 of a millisecond. So that is quite a bit faster. The other one over here was 12.16 milliseconds. So this is over 10 times faster to do the same thing. And then the styles get applied at the paint. And so this whole thing is happening. You could have this happen many times and you'd still be within that threshold of 16.6 .6 milliseconds. So just with a difference of about three years, uh, the technology, like it's the same feature. Uh, they're supporting the same element queries, but the performance difference between them is about running 10 times faster. 
So even though this was usable, even though this worked, um, you know, we're really onto something now and the performance has never been better. It's never been easier to add this kind of functionality to your website. So the other thing is this JS and CSS demo isn't even a fair comparison to the EQCSS demo because this JS and CSS demo is actually testing two element query plugins. So I, for each of these tests, um, the background is being controlled by one and the border is being controlled by another. So when we're looking at this thing being 0.6 milliseconds, it's actually running two entirely different um, plugins here. So there's the custom style rule element and the custom at rule element. And these are running in 0 .1, 0 0.13 milliseconds and 0.25 milliseconds. Uh, this one's in microseconds. So like we're an entire order of magnitude down from milliseconds here uh, compared to the EQCSS, um, which we can't really see. It's all happening in apply, but I mean, that's 12 milliseconds. That's where the big slowdown is. So this demo is doing twice the work in less than one tenth the time. Thanks so much for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos about element queries. Have a good one.